Good evening. Welcome back. It is Sunday, May 28th, 2023. It is race day. I did watch a little bit of F1 race this morning. Couldn't watch the 500 due to the blackout. Thank you, uh, NBC and Peacock and WTHR, local affiliates. Nonetheless, it's uh, DVR'd on Peacock, and I'll watch it later this evening. Cup race still getting ready to happen. <coughs> Hopefully... It doesn't get rained out tonight, but we'll see. But anyway, we have a few birthdays and a few events for today. Uh, we'll start with a few events. On this day in 1961, David Pearson wins the Coca-Cola, well, not Coca-Cola, it's the World 600 at the time, for his first ever career, then NASCAR Grand National win. Of course, now it is the Cup Series. On this date in 1989, Emerson Fittipaldi wins the Indy 500, after a uh, small skirmish with Alan Sir Jr. in the closing laps, would be the first of two Indy 500 wins for Fittipaldi. Also on the same day, Daryl Waltrip wins the Coca-Cola 600 for his fifth and final uh, win in that race. 1995, Jacques Villeneuve <coughs> excuse me, wins the Indy 500 under the last Indy 500 run under the Cart USAC sanction. Of course. 1996, they had the split, and it would be under the IRL USAC sanctioning, but 95 was the last one under CART. And uh, Bobby Labonte won the Coca-Cola 600 also on the same day for his first career Cup Series win. And then on this day in 2000, Juan Pablo Montoya wins his first of two Indy 500s, and Matt Kenseth wins the Coca-Cola 600 for his first career Cup Series win. A uh, few birthdays here. Uh, he passed away in 2014, but he was born in 1916 on this day. Mr. Ray Fox, legendary car builder, team owner, etc. Of course, he is the grandfather of Ray Fox III, Raymond Fox III, that was a longtime part of the Robert Yates team. Um, born on this date in 1927, but he did pass away in 1964 in a crash in the Indy 500, sadly. Uh, Eddie Sachs. Of course, Eddie was a... Uh, a well-known racer and well-liked racer back in the day, and was uh, killed in that early, early race accident in 1964. Uh, and this is this is kind of interesting. Also born on this date, uh, we have uh, Taro Palmroth. Well, that's not interesting. 1953. I do have a card of him. Um, Taro was just kind of a an IndyCar driver, had a cup of coffee, ran a few seasons, never really had much success. But the interesting birthday that I was getting to, <clears throat> born on this date in 1954, he passed away in 1985, was Richie Panch. He made a few starts in NASCAR, but was killed in a private plane crash in 1985. But coincidentally enough, on this day in 1926, was born Marvin Panch, his father. So, kind of funny, uh, interesting tie there. They share the same birthday. But Marvin passed away in 2015. Oops, got two cards, didn't realize there. But he was a driver. Early days of NASCAR, as you can tell. We have the regular and the blue. I really don't, I mean, I've heard his name a lot. But I don't really, you know, I can't tell you his achievements. There's a press pass rehashing an old photo. But I really can't tell you a lot about him. 61 Daytona 500 winner. Because he's one of those legends, drove for the Wood Brothers. That that he uh, he had some success, but it was so quiet. It wasn't, it wasn't in your face. So uh, anyway, that's our birthdays and events for today. Uh, we went to the flea market. <coughs> a couple flea markets earlier today. Got a lot of cool stuff. Um... That may be a video for tomorrow, or it might be one for Tuesday. Haven't decided just yet, but we'll just wait and see. So anyway, thanks again for watching. Really, really do appreciate it. Make sure you hit that like button and subscribe button on your way out. And as always, we will see you tomorrow. Thanks for watching.